I'm going to show you how to use our new bow mould. I'm going to do the small bow first of all. I'm not doing the very small one because it will be difficult for the camera to pick up. So usually we dust cornflour into mould but this time I'm just brushing white luster powder into the bow. I've got a small piece of sugar paste, just roll it into a smooth ball and then place in the mould. Make sure your fingers aren't sticky because they do remove from the mould very easily. This is our sugar paste, if you haven't got this you can use any other sugar paste with half flour paste, half sugar paste kneaded together. There's a little bit too much on there so if I just remove that with a knife and then push the paste back into the mould. Make sure it's not going over the edges and then that is ready to remove from the mould. Just turn it over, pull the edges back, flick the mould if it doesn't fall out straight away because it's so small and there's no weight in the paste. Sometimes it can just sit there. It doesn't mean it's stuck but it just needs a little bit of help to come out. So now I'll show you the bigger bow. That's this large one here. This time I'll just dust with a little bit of corn flour and tap out. Then again I've got our sugar paste. Just knead it into a smooth ball, put into the mould, press firmly down into the bow and then down to the tails. Make sure it's not going over the edge of the mould and it's level with the back of the mould and again make sure your fingers aren't sticky especially over these shallow tails because it does lift out very easily. So I'll just make sure now it's not going over the edge before I release onto the worktop. That's ready to come out so I'll just turn it over, pull back and that's your bow out of the mould. Now what I'm going to do first, I'll show you two ways to use this bow. I'm rubbing powder colour really well into a dusting brush and I'm just dusting with some pink from the knot into the tails and the loops just to give it a bit of shading where it would naturally look darker and then the knot if you go from there at the bottom and then from the top if you want to you can also dust darker into the tops of the loops and underneath the loops and then we can go over the whole bow with some white luster powder. Use a nice large dusting brush to do this. So that's the bow coloured and dusted a little um, as, as it comes out of the mould. Now what you can do if you want to, if you've got our brooch mould, is remove the knot from the centre, obviously before you do all this dusting onto the knot, you don't need the knot, so I'm just working my way round, cutting in gradually and then you can twist the knot off. I'm just going to brush with a little glue, very thinly, and then this is one of the brooches from our brooch mould. You can place that into the centre and you've got a nice bow with an edible brooch. I'll show you quickly the board with the, bro with the brooch and bow on. But these, this board shows you the different size bows you get from the mould.